Hello and welcome. My name is Liz Kogan representing DiscoverMilton.com. Have you ever met that special person that you thought others should know as well? Would Discover Milton think so? We have nominations going for People You Should Meet in Milton. And today we are going to talk to Heather Garretts. Hello and welcome Heather. I'd like to start off by asking you to tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a Milton resident for the last, I don't know, 35 years. Um, I grew up in Campbellville area and uh, went to high school here in Milton and uh, I'm a very involved community member and um, I work with special needs children uh, as my real job and my second job is a manager of my, my son who is an uh, Olympian. Heather, you've talked a lot about the support that you've received from the Milton community and how grateful you are for that support. If you could just pick one thing, and I know it may be hard to just pick that one thing, what would be your favorite thing about Milton? I'd have to say the people. I mean, the people make the town. Uh, you can have as many bu new buildings or old buildings as you want, but it's the people that um, come together, that uh, support us, uh, that uh, support one another, that the, the number of charities uh, that are going on um, for this, that, and the next thing. You know, we have, uh, we help people that are, are, are not well. Uh, we help pe people in sport. We help people in the arts. I think, um, you know, we have the general vicinity with the, the beautiful nature. Uh, we're pretty, we're very, very blessed. We, ha we pretty much have it all. And we're 45 minutes from downtown Toronto if you really have to be there, you know? But honestly, it's the people in this community. How do you feel going into February with the Olympics coming up? What sort of emotions must be going through your mind? Uh, it's a roller coaster. And someone asked me that the other day, and I said, you know, the only way, it's very difficult to put into perspective right now. It's surreal, and that's so cliche. But right now, the only way I can describe it, and because I'm such a, a Christmassy kind of gal, was a, sno a snowball, one of those um, globes, snow globes. I feel sometimes like I'm in the snow globe and people are looking around at, at us, and I say us because it's a whole Team Garrett's thing. And then there's other times where I feel like I'm just on the outside of the snow globe trying to get in and getting all the pieces together to get it into the snow globe. Does that make sense? I don't know, it's, it's a fun time and it's exciting and it's chaos and it's energetic and people want to be part of it and it's amazing and we're trying to share it as much as we can. This isn't necessarily our journey, it's, Travis says it's, it's everyone's journey, it's everyone that's been part of this right from the get-go and there's been so many pieces of the puzzle to put together and it's Milton, it's the community and when uh, Travis competes on Family Day on uh, February 17th, I hope that the whole town gets to watch it. It's, it's hard to explain, but we always knew and all, all we had to do was just encourage it and nurture it and be there and, you know, um, make it happen. And I believe in that, you make things happen. It's, I mean, we didn't push them, but we always knew if we offered it out there, you know, that you can just, you nurture the things that they are strong in. And uh, if we don't try and do that as a parent, then we're never gonna have Olympians. Um, people say, oh, well, uh, you've made a lot of sacrifices. No, we haven't. We made a choice um, to raise elite athletes and and uh, have fun with them, you know, and, and so we do a lot of traveling and it's it's great, it, but we always knew. It's, it, to us, it's not really that much of a surprise. Everybody needs to watch what's happening in, in February. Watch the Olympics, embrace the athletes, not just Travis, but our Canadians and feel proud to be a Miltonian and a Canadian. We had a wonderful chat today with Heather Garretts, and there are some people that we would like to thank for making it all happen. My wardrobe was provided by Adair's Boutique, the tunic from Jaden, a local designer. 
My jewelry is from Elvira Hopper Love Your Vibe Custom Handmade Bling. Hair and makeup for both Heather and myself. Hair, Leanne from Creative with Beautiful Ink, and makeup from Marianne from Nas Salon. And of course, we'd like to thank our crew, Halton Post Productions.